Hi Jojo, it's me, Yarn Fairy, aka Crazy Wendy. And I wanted to show you my fleece and how I wash it. This is the outside. You can tell because it's um, more curly outside. And this is the inside because it looks more shorn, like the ends are cut off. Um, like I said, I was finding a bit of VM in them after I went to get them a second time. But it's no big deal. It's really simple to take care of. What I do is I get the outside edge and then I, you know, I'm really not sure about this one. It's all weirded out. Anyway, what you want to do is you want to pick out anything that you see that's big. That's how I start. And everybody else that's watching this, um, I'm not a professional. I do this for fun and my methods are not normal. Okay. With that disclaimer, here we go. This is what I call pouncing. Whoa, camera. I just hit the fleece on top of itself. And all this stuff comes out. It's dirt. The sheeps were in a pen that had dirt, but no pasture. So they're very clean considering uh, or compared to fleeces that I've seen in the past. Um, okay, so that's what I do. I pounce, pounce, pounce. Then I pounce some more until my arms feel like they're going to hurt too much. And then I stop. <laughs> Sorry about the voice. I have chronic laryngitis due to my ailments. Um, so then what I do is I'll take just a little bit and work on it a little bit at a time because you know people talk about washing fleeces and they talk about washing the entire thing and they put the whole thing in the bathtub and you know I've been there done that and then I changed up to a sink in the kitchen and now I am stuck in my bathroom because I find it works best in my bathroom and that's just the way I like it like I said I'm not normal but you know that Okay, so warm water is all I use. Shampoo, any kind, doesn't matter what. This stuff is hair. Apply shampoo to fleece. Apply water. <laughs> Easy, right? The only thing is, is you got to make sure that the temperature of the water doesn't change. And I'm not pouncing in here. Um, people are concerned about felting when they're in here. Uh, having handled a lot of yarn, I know what wool can take, and so I'm not as concerned about felting as some are. Um, what I'll do is I'll just open up the fibers under the water. I don't soak it. I don't bother with any of that. I had to learn how to do this because I'm sick. I can't bend over a tub. <coughs> I can't do all the things that a healthy person could do. And so I found out that fleece can take a licking and keep on ticking. It just keeps going. It doesn't have a problem with felting. If you do it, you know, kind of holding it together like I am and not like, I'm not going like this, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm keeping it all together in my hands until I open it and fan it and kind of let the yarn run, water run through the fleece as if it were hair, because it's hair. Come on. Right? So this process really gets it clean. I mean, I scour this thing, and it's perfectly fine. And if you're spinning lace and you just want a little bit, this is a great way to get it. And if you want a lot of bit, you know, you do this until you're tired of it and then go wait and put a fan on it and dry it, which is what I always do because my cats want it. And then I'll take it to this spinning wheel. I won't even go to a carter because this stuff is so low in VM. And look, it's just like curly hair. The locks are still all there. 
and that little bit of dirt just flies right out. Um, I find that the bigger flecks are more like bird seed shells. I don't know what they are. And maybe there's a little bit of food. Uh, I don't I don't know what this stuff is. But if you wash it well enough, which I did not just now because I'm just trying to show you the technique. Um, and I was more worried about whether or not you would be able to see what I was doing than washing the fleece. Um, but anyway, yeah, it, it's, it's amazing. And unfortunately, I don't have a pause on this or I would pause you and take you over to my spinning wheel and show you what I've made out of this. It's just unbelievable, beautiful uh, lace weight yarn. Of course, I got lazy and I was watching TV and it got a little thicker, so it's no longer really officially lace weight. And I'll probably make a fingering weight shawl out of it, but um, after washing it like this, making the little necklace thing and wearing it to bed overnight, <laughs> It's lovely. It's lovely. It has absolutely no itch, and I'm usually really sensitive to wool. And not this stuff. It's beautiful. I hope you enjoy it too, because I really love this stuff.